Today, I am solo, and I am going into the New Old Bridge Comic Expo. It's run by the New Jersey Comic Shows. They run, like, monthly shows here throughout Jersey in Wayne, Clifton, Old Bridge, um, a couple of other places. They're usually good. I'm going to be looking for the oldest Fantastic Four I can find, the oldest Justice League I can find. Stay till the very end. We're going to be doing two of the previous Gimme Them Comics giveaway, and we'll be doing another Gimme Them Comics giveaway. Yes, I'm going to be looking for stuff for you in here. So let's go inside. So as you can see, the Old Bridge Comic Expo is much smaller than the normal conventions we go to. It's mm -hmm. run by New Jersey comic book shows, as I said earlier, and they run monthly shows throughout New Jersey. So if you're ever in the area, take a look at New Jersey comic shows. Maybe you can catch one of their shows. It's usually the same vendors at this one. AJ was there. Ah. I spoke with AJ mm -hmm. for a little while. Yeah. Um, Zap Comics was there. Um, I talked to Ben for a little while, and then there was another guy who always buys stuff from. He's a retired teacher from Newark. Mm -hmm. He had a dollar bin of indie comics that had a bunch of Carlton comics in there. Ooh, so really? Which, yeah, he had some older stuff, so yeah. we'll see if I bought any Carlton comics from the dollar bin. Did you get Carlton? Listen, it's Charlton. Charlton, sorry. Charlton. Yeah. You know, I, I thought it was Carlton for the longest time. Charlton, you know, uh, you know what I learned? How it was named after the sons of the two guys who started it, who were both named Charles. Oh, okay. So it's Charles. Charles. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So this is a good little show. Mm -hmm. If you're ever, it's at the the Elks Lodge. If you're ever ever around, I I mm -hmm. highly recommend it. It's purely comics. There's nothing else there. There's no Funko Pops. There's no toys. It's like fifteen, maybe twenty at the most vendors in a small room. Comics, dollar bins, wall books, good prices on everything. I guess we'll see if I picked up any low Fantastic Fours or Justice League of America. Get that number one, didn't you? That's a surprise. Yeah, that that's too. a surprise. Yeah, I would think that would be the lead in. <laughs> At the end of this one, we will be doing another Gimme Them Comics giveaway, and we will be announcing the winner of the King Kong Gimme Them Comics giveaway and the One Day Comic Expo Give me them comics giveaway. So right. you have twice the chance to be a winner at the end of this video. Mm -hmm. So let's get into it. What do we get? We got a lot of well, stuff. What you get? Here's the I was there. Here's the stack. Brian was slacking again. Too much slack. Here's the stack. Give so me more slack. I did buy a lot. And it's a Sunday, so he has no excuse because he doesn't work on Sundays. What was I doing? Green, you went, I had a family you thing. You were like, you're yeah. always family things. Green Lantern 202. Oh, nice. It, this is two issues after it changed from Green Lantern to mm -hmm. Green Lantern Corpse. That was with issue 200. Green Lantern Corpse 206. There's Kilowog on the cover. Nice. I like these old Green Lantern. This is volume two. Mm -hmm. Never saw this before. Never heard of it. What the? Superman for the Animals. This was a giveaway. It's published for Doris Day Animal Foundation. Oh, okay. And I want to I want to point something out to you. Mm -hmm. There's a bunch of these comics in here that I bought from mm -hmm. the guy from that was a teacher in Newark. Mm -hmm. Have this on the back. Amazing Heroes. That's the place we tried to go. This is the place we tried to go. If you watched our episode where we went to the flea market, our and fail episode failed. Mm -hmm. Then we went to Amazing Heroes, and it looked like they were closed. There is a lot of, and it's the address we went to. Yep. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of comics in this pile that have this stamp on there, which I think is strange. I think it tells me that it's probably yeah. not. Yeah, not That's open anymore. What I think. Yeah. So we'll see. I'll show you each one that's here. This is uh, Mr. Miracle, the Source of Freedom, the variant cover. It's issue number two. This is the first key. This is the first appearance of Navarre Free. This is also the first comic that's going in the Gimme Them Comics box. I don't know this series at all. 
It was, uh, it's not too long ago. It's fairly recent. It, it, it another person becomes, mm-hmm. it's not Scott, Scott, not free. Scott free. it's another okay. person. It's a good series. I, I, you know, it's recent is a 499. Yeah. So we don't get enough, uh, Mr. Miracle in mm, our lives. Very interesting. So that's, that's our first Give Me Them mm-hmm. Comics here, wait, going in the separate pile. Young Justice number one. This is key number two. This is the first ongoing series for Young Justice. Mm-hmm. Again. I like that series. I don't pick what the keys are. Mm-hmm. This is not me naming them. Yeah. They just, so some people have criticized about. that I call these keys. Oh, no, but those are, but I don't decide that. Where does a key come from? It, I have a an online thing. I use this thing called CLZ, and it mm-hmm. has a gold key, and it has an other colored key. Right. And this is like a minor key. I don't okay. decide if it's so, a minor see, key. It's not him saying. It's I don't. Cool. I don't think. I don't make this up. I don't you know, know that. I see the key, and I bring to you my what I learn mm-hmm. about keys. Is there? This is research, man. Research Wonder keys. Woman number two twelve. Wow. Bought it because it's a Justice League cover has a flash in it. Nineteen seventy four. Huh? Nineteen seventy four. Not the greatest condition, but. Who wouldn't buy it for a dollar? Mm-hmm. Oh, here's something right. Final oh, yeah. crisis, crisis, World's Revenge, issue number one, issue number two, mm-hmm. issue number three. Those are great covers. These are for you. These are going in the Gimme Them comics. You get a nice. whole entire run of the Rogue's Revenge. Nice. Where else can you get that for free on YouTube? The answer? Nowhere. Nowhere else. So I did buy an older Justice League. None this more. is... Justice League None more black. of American mm-hmm. of America. 148. So that's the lowest they had that I needed. I don't need many, but here's one of them. I bought this too because it's both the JSA and the Justice League. I always like those crossover issues before crisis. Mm-hmm. So there you go. This is my pile. Oh, nice. Savage Dragon in the dollar bin. Very cool. Savage Dragon number one in the dollar mm-hmm. bin. So just to point out, I just want to point out something. I want to keep in score. That's all I bought. That's all DC. I, That's it. I believe Savage Dragon is, other than Spawn, the second longest yes, running that image. Is cor- second longest No, second longest running comic. Continuous because DC and Marvel stopped. Oh, and yeah. They do the legacy started, and yeah. stuff, but this mm-hmm. is continuous running number by number. This is key number three. This is the first appearance of Star Basher, not Savage Dragon. He appeared before the right. series in one of their anthology yeah. series. So mm-hmm. this in the dollar bin. It's a fun series. All day, every day. I'll yeah. buy this every time. It's I see a fun it. series. Mm-hmm. I bought some Atlas. A, I'm very excited about. Um, you, we've yeah. talked about this on other episodes. Mm-hmm. It's, I rarely, find these mm-hmm. and when i do always buy them this is phoenix number one this is key number four this is the first appearance of phoenix mm-hmm. um atlas comics is just it's always been an interest of mine just because the way it came about have we done a history of atlas we have not we should coming soon brian's gonna write a guys history of comment atlas. let us know do you want to see here a history of atlas it's comics? a very interesting story how it's really atlas gets yeah. started and pretty much ends right after it gets started yeah. it only lasts the most i think one series gets Five issues, maybe? Most of them get three. Yeah, one of my favorite from them was only three, which was uh, The Grim Ghost. The Grim Ghost. Yeah. I bought another Planet of the Vampires, I number one. I love this cover so much. Who drew that cover? I have no idea. I, I want to know who did that. I got to look that we'll up. We'll do some research. Maybe we'll throw a subtitle on here yeah, and figure it we'll out. We'll tell you who did it. In the, just look for this, the comment right now. There you go. As Brian sneezes during a... Yeah, uh, uh, during a recording. Sorry. Allergy season. Oh, wow. And then Thunderbolt, again, this all, all dollar bin. That's pretty good. This is the modern reprint, so it's, a, it's not the original, it's a reprint, but still. But Thunderbolt's a Golden Age character. That's right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I saw that this was in that independent dollar bin that I saw. Was Thunderbolt one of the characters that came back with that Project Superpowers series from... Yes. Was it yes. IW or Boom? I can't remember who did it. No idea what this is, and this is a strange one because it's Super not ops. It's not on CLZ, so it's not in my comic book database. Oh, so I'm gonna have some point have to add it. Oh. It's this is from like 1974. It's about two cops. It's like a Starsky and Hutch kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. if you look, those are two cops, and he's a prostitute they, there, a pimp. It's you know they, New York City. They look like uh, they both look like they um, have those mustaches. What's the uh? Uh, it's published by Red Circle Comics. Russell Crowe, no idea. Night guys. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they both look like Russell Crowe. So the there you go. Yeah. And I did buy some Carlton, Carl Charlton, Charlton. Sorry, Billy the Kid, number ninety-four. Nice. 
I do like the cowboy ones. Billy the Kid number 100. For a dollar, cool. I couldn't pass it up. And then there was some weird stuff that I bought. Oh, Eclipse. Siegel and Schuster. It's a story about them. Weird. I've oh. never heard of it before. And this wow. is also from Amazing Heroes. Mm -hmm. This is issue number one. We did a two-part uh, episode on the history of Siegel and Schuster and Superman. So you guys should maybe go back yeah, and check that this out. This is probably it's really interesting. the telling of what we actually did. Mm -hmm. I, if we would have known this was out there... At the time, we probably would have used this as research. Mm -hmm. This is issue number one. I bought issue number two also. Mm -hmm. So both issues. That's a great, great little artifact. That's yeah. I awesome. had never seen it before. It was in a dollar bin. So I was like, you know what? And they're both from Amazing Heroes. Also this, I had no idea what this was. <laughs> I don't I don't know. That's I haven't great. opened it that yet. 80s, like in the Man of Rust, the retelling of the story. It kind of looks like Superman. Like a Superman parody. The Man of Steel, mm -hmm. the Man of Rust. Yeah. This is, there was only one issue. This is the one issue. This is the variant cover from the one issue. So if you know oh, wow. the original Man of Steel, uh -huh. this is supposed to look yeah, like the variant like cover from cover. the Man of yeah. Steel. So mm. that's great. I don't know. So a, as you can see, I was on somewhat of a weird Superman kick. It's, those are cool finds though. You think those might be really interesting. Uh, and that's why I bought them. And yeah. then this is a, Action Comics number one homage ugly cover. Oh, the ugly dolls. Remember those? Yes. Yeah, my daughter had a couple of those. I actually collect homage covers to uh -huh. Action Comics number one. Here's another one. That's great. For a buck, who cares? Love it. Picked it up. And now this is my Marvel pile. And we've been talking about this lately that a lot more Marvel and dollar bins in DC lately. Yeah. So I, th I think uh, people are uh, gearing up for the, um, I don't know. The James Gunn DCU. Alpha Flight 22. This is key number five. It's the first appearance of Pink Pearl. This is going in your pile. You can win this. Give me them comics. There you go. Mm -hmm. the pile's getting bigger. He, the, he had some Machine Man. Oh, cool. They're not Kirby Machine Man, but yeah. Machine Man nonetheless. Number 10. I always confused it with Machine Men. Men? Yeah, uh, the DC run. Remember? Oh, no, Metal Men. I'm thinking Metal, Metal Men. Sorry, guys. Metal 12. Man. Yeah. Nice. Actually, they're both. What? Oh, they're Whitman variants. They're both Whitman variants. Daredevil 41, key number six. I have that. It's moment. the first mm -hmm. part of the low life storyline. This yeah. is another key. That was a good run. The Marvel Knights one? This, this, goes in your, this goes in your pile. That's, that's, a, be yours. that's a good comic. You're going to want to finish that series. And this next couple of comic books is directly related to a video we did in the past. I was not a fan of this before set. And you now you were in. <laughs> now I'm fully in. <laughs> Shogun Warriors. Check out our history on Shogun nice. Warriors. Seven. Mm -hmm. Eight. Oh, wow. Nine. Great finds. Eleven. I had ten. That's why I didn't buy it. Mm -hmm. Twelve. Thirteen. Fifteen. So I am very close to completing the entire series of this. Machine Man. No, no, you want Shogun Warriors. I'm all, and this, these were all for a dollar. Right. So I've never seen them really in the dollar bins before. And they tie into your Fantastic Four yes. collection because this story finishes in Fantastic, Fantastic Four. Four. And I have yeah. those issues too. I bought mm -hmm. those at a past thing. Right. One of the most popular characters in Marvel Universe right now. Has to be Dazzler. Dazzler. This is what if number 33? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 33. What if Dazzler was Galactus's herald? Mm -hmm. And what if Iron Man was trapped in the time of King Arthur? Hmm. I don't see these a lot in Dalvin's either. The what, what ifs? ifs? No. I do not. Yeah. Still trying to finish my New Mutants run. New Mutants 46. Hey. Cover. Who's doing the art here? Jackson Geis. Hmm. There you go. 60. Yeah, it's got Sim on the cover. I like, it was like that character. This is, cam this is key number seven. It's the first cameo of Grim Jack. Mm hmm. I would like the character of Sim. Oh, really? Yeah. From, from Limbo. 53. That whole Limbo and Hell storyline that connects the mutants with Dark Child is all really very good. And then leads to Inferno. This is key number eight. This is the first appearance of Bird Boy. Oh. Or bird brain, I think they call them both. 60. Key number nine, the death of Cypher. Oh. Yeah, I think he's dead right there. Dead. 
What? No one dies forever in comics. No. And number 71. That's an Inferno tie-in. Inferno tie-in. This one is for you, though. I had this one already. This goes in the pile. That was one of the first crossovers that I really got every piece of in the month. Oh, really? And I love that story. The Inferno storyline was so you good. Start reading it. Great, great storyline. War of the Realms, Giant Man, number one. I have some of the War of the Realms. Mm-hmm. I'm going to start collecting the other one to tie-ins. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I didn't buy it when it came out. I regret it because yeah. there's a couple of big appearances in there that I can't find now. New Warriors 67. Continue to try to finish this series. This is a Spider-Man appearance. Nice. X-Men vs. The Avengers, number three. And number four. I'm going to have to now find mm-hmm. one in general. Very nice. And this one was a surprise. Very shocked that I found this. It was only $3. It was not in the dollar bin. I bought this from Zap Comics in the $3 bin. That's in America 241. Ooh, Cat vs. Punisher. This is key number 10. This is Cat vs. Punisher. This is a very, this cool. is a very well-known cover. Mm-hmm. That right there. One of my... I, it stands out to me from that time. Frame. Nice. Captain America 306. Trying to finish this run. Mm-hmm. Kind of start buying these low numbers, too, when I... Yeah. 376. This one I had already. This goes into Gimme Them Comics. Thought it was a cool cover. 399. Also had this. This goes into Gimme Them Comics. 401. Also had this one. This goes into Gimme Them Comics. So look, your pile's getting bigger by the minute. That is a nice, this could all nice haul for somebody. Sure is for four free. Four. Whatever I say, that's something like that. I feel like I'm QVC. Okay, yeah, for free. <laughs> four, 250. Somebody out there is getting something special. You can own this. <laughs> 250. Again, I've been buying these lower and lower. The QVC, that's a reference for the kids, by the way. Oh, yeah. They have no idea what you're <laughs> This one is an interesting key. This is Thor number 341. It's key number 11. In this issue, Thor meets Lois Lane and Clark Kent. Really? Yeah. So it's a, and they, and they, by name, Clark mm. and Lois. So here's the, hmm. it's the, or they're in two panels. Here's the two panels, what they look like. So I thought it was very interesting. Wow. And again, when I buy these, I don't buy them thinking that they're keys. I just buy what I need mm-hmm. in my run. So it just so happens that a lot of that. So this was in the early eighties. That's right? Simon the Simonsons. So it turns out that a lot of the Simonsons Thor comics during their run are keys for some reason or not. They mm-hmm. introduced Beta Ray Bill. They yeah. introduced Frog Thor. Mm-hmm. Frog. So they inter- introduce a lot of new characters throughout their whole entire run. This is another one. This is 380. This is key number 12. This is the death of Midgard, the serpent. At one point, and I don't know if this has to do with it. I don't know if that this issue has to do with it. But at one point in the history of DC Comics, they were doing so badly in competition with Marvel that they considered licensing their, ca- licensing their, their characters. characters to Marvel. Maybe. And maybe this was part of like trying that idea Maybe. i don't know I, i'd have to look into it but if anybody knows please comment and let us know i, don't, I really i don't know yeah that's, i mean that's a, i thought it was very interesting again mm-hmm. didn't buy it thinking that bought yeah. it because i needed it 386 key number 13 this is the first appearance of lair mm-hmm. believe that that's him mm-hmm. so i bought five thor six thor comics and yeah. most of them keys and here's another one mm-hmm Key number 14 this is thought 408 key number 14 eric masterson becomes Thor, he merges with Thor. Oh, and he eventually becomes what? Thunderstrike? That's right. Right? In the 90s? There you go. He's so 90s. Every in the, single... In the 90s. I think almost every single one of the Thors I bought is a key except that, that first one. Thunderstrike character is one of the most 90s characters. Oh my god, with the, with the, the hair costume. and the chains and the... Patsy Walker, Hellcat. Great character. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a uh, mm-hmm. a look at Patsy Walker and how she comes Hellcat. This Very one I had... Character. This goes to you. This is for you to read. So you can get issue number one. If I'm not wrong, she came out of a romance comic, right? Hundred percent. Yeah, wow, that's cool. <laughs> and and if you and if you know the well, original I Hellcat is not Patsy Walker. So the cat in mm-hmm. the series, the cat is not Patsy mm-hmm. Walker somewhere else. Black Cat from Spider Man. No. The Cat. There was a series called The Cat. Felicia Hardy? No. Stop it, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Selena Kyle. Iron Man 105 with the Jack of Hearts. This one I had already. He happens to be one of my favorite characters in the Marvel Universe. He's, Jack of Hearts? Yeah. He's appearing in She-Hulk right now. I have this one already. This can be yours. As can 106. So you can get 105 and 106. More Iron Man for your pile. For free. Four. And Incredible Hulk 253. Oh, cool. It was in the dollar bins. Why not? Nice. Comics I never said I would collect and collecting now. Captain America, the Hulk. You know, I, I get a thing. Like I told you, I, I, this thing for the Hulk since... Um, I I don't know why I started the Hulk. Since really uh, Immortal Hulk. Immortal Hulk really grabbed me back in. 
to liking the Hulk I character. I really don't want to be buying the Hulk, but and I don't want to be buying Thor. And I don't want to be buying Kevin, but I am. But you know, once I get started, I can't <laughs> stop it. I have a disease. All right, now let's look at my Logan Warriors is a perfect example of that. <laughs> let's look at my fantastic four purchases. Oh boy! And I did buy an early one. I bought a Doctor Doom appearance number sixty. Nice. It was not $20. Mm. The person gave me a nice deal on it. Actually, it's funny because the guy, the Newark, the guy from Newark, the Newark teacher asked me to call him. I don't remember his name. Yeah. He, I bought, I think, $40 comics from him. Most of the comics are for $40. And when I went to he was like $30. So yeah. everything I went to pay for was cheaper than at nice. every vendor. So that's why another reason why this is a good thing. They're giving you deals too. Mm -hmm. I bought $115. This is in r good condition too. Mm hmm. I did not pay seven dollars for it. Mm. I bought one ninety. Look at that, Jack Kirby cover. Yes, yeah, nice. I didn't look to see if it was Jack Kirby, but I know based on those faces that it one hundred percent is Jack Kirby. Two thirty nine key number fifteen. It's the first appearance of Aunt Petunia. Oh, she actually appears for the first time. She's not just mentioned by the thing. Cool. She actually appears. And fantastic one number. 376. This is key number 16. It is the first appearance of Psylord, which is Franklin Richards as an adult. Oh, cool. Yeah. With his probably one of the most powerful mm -hmm. characters in the Marvel Universe. Yeah. And finally, I'm going to hide the last comic book. Finally, key number 17. <laughs> this is the first appearance, and you'll see why I'm hiding it. Mm -hmm. This is the first appearance of Anna Kronat Kang, and it is the last of the keys and it is the last book that's going into your pile for giving them comics and then this last book oh which i am not showing i have this is for you so you're gonna have two i have things. two now oh skate man one of brian's favorite did you get that in a dollar bin dollar bin baby oh, damn you know, i paid like i paid like 15 dollars for that i think really yeah <laughs> dollar bin and i saw it at all i said we've we've okay. talked about skate man before neil adams Came in and I actually talked to the guy on the bar. I was like, "This is probably one of the worst comics ever made." This is this is like the troll two of comic books. So this is one of the worst comics ever made. Yeah. Brian's gonna get one of these every time I find it in Dollar Bin. <laughs> so he may he may he may right now hold the record for owning the most <laughs> right. You have two <laughs> Pacific Comics. Oh, uh, the you. story of Pacific Comics is really fascinating. That is the hall. By the way, Neil Adams. Go let, ahead. Me, let me do this first. You did fantastic work through your entire career. He's dead. He can't hear you. With the exception. He can't hear you. He's, Maybe he knows somehow. He's deceased. But anyway, Neil Adams is dead. Yes, he is. Neil Adams is dead. Huh. Uh, he died recently. Anyway, Neil Adams did fantastic work through his entire career, with possibly the exception of Batman Odyssey. And <laughs> just keep man. And this. I don't know what happened here. I think you should do an in-depth video on <laughs> If Batman. you ever get a chance to read a copy of this, it will convince you that everyone, no matter how great they are, can make a mistake. <laughs> and he he does he wrote it and did the art on it, right? Yeah. It. I don't. There was some. There must have been some That's kind the popularity of popularity of roller skating. So, but there must have been some kind of editorial mix up. Okay, because they're literally the story stops making sense about three times and then shifts into something else. Okay, I, I, don't I know think what you was should going do a on. whole video on skating. So there you go. That's the haul from the Old Bridge Comic Expo. Brian's just happy he has a second copy now. You know what? The, the problem too is that it's a great. It's <laughs> the art is really good. <laughs> he can't stop talking about. Look how good the art is. It's good. I think you should do a whole episode on it. All right. So now, you guys, this is your pile of Give Me Them Comics. You can win this. All you have to do is comment below and be a subscriber. That's it. You don't pay anything. We pay for the shipping. We pay for everything. We actually have a picture of our last winner. He won the Gimme Then Comics giveaway from, I don't even remember what one we went to together. Oh, uh, the um, that would have been um, the one in Cherry Hill, the One Day Comic Expo. No, it, the One Day Comic is what we're pulling right now, so it was the one right before that. I don't remember. I don't know what, but here's our winner from there. Too much stuff. It got mailed to him. He was very happy with it. He is actually in this one, too. I don't want to mention names. Mm -hmm. I just, he won. Mm -hmm. This is who it is. So now let's pull the winner for King Kong. Let's spin the wheel. Oh. 
Goat99, you are the winner. Congratulations. Congratulations. All you have to do is email us at collectorsconfessions at gmail.com. We need your address, your name, where where you want us to send this, and we ask that you send us a picture of you with your comics when you get them. That's Mm -hmm. it. We'll mail them to you. They'll get out. If you the sooner you get to us, the quicker they'll get out. And now finally, to conclude this video, we will do the winner of the one day comic expo. Let's spin that wheel. Case cards 6018. You are the winner. One day comic expo. Give me them comics. Congratulations. Enjoy your comic books. Send us a picture. Send us your name. Collectorsconfessions at gmail.com. And we will mail these out. Hopefully you both get back to us together and I can mail them on the same day. Mm -hmm. I have to take multiple trips to the post office. Again, comment below. All you have to comment is give me them comics, or you can comment about Skate Man or one of the other comics that we bought, or how Brian was so insensitive that Neil Adams is deceased and he didn't I know. I honestly didn't know. Look at the things you learn in these videos. Thanks for watching. Love what you collect. Collect what you love. We'll see you next time. And Neil Adams will still be dead.